Welcome to a new video from your channel New Cars Technology. My name is Henry and today's video is about the all-new Renault Raffle. Cup ESU versus were always considered a luxury item, but Renault made the body type mashup mainstream with the introduction of the Tiny Arcana a little more than three years ago. In mid-2023, the business with the diamond emblem will release a larger model named after a 1934 racing plane. Meet the Rafale, the brand's first D-segment swoopy sport utility vehicle to completely embrace the new design language. It has the same new front grille design and matrix LED light signature as the recently updated 2024 Clio. It lacks the practicality of a conventionally shaped SUV due to its sloping roofline, but it still has a considerable load capacity of 530 liters with the rear seats in place. It lacks the third row of the e-space because Renault aims to offer the Rafale with only five seats, with minimal back headroom reduction despite the coupe-like roofline. The new addition to Renault's expanding lineup measures 185 inches long and 73.2 inches broad, with a large panoramic glass canopy that may be entirely opaque or fully transparent. It includes two extra options because the front area can be opaque while the back section is transparent, or vice versa. Given the bigger axles and thick 245mm tires, it should appear more intimidating in person than the e-space. The advancement of Renault's rear wheel steering to boost grip and turning speed on uneven ground is another innovative feature. Satin pearl white and alpine blue paint colors are distinctive to the Rafale, with the latter being a more vivid blue tint than the A110. The 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster is accompanied by a 12-inch portrait-oriented touchscreen on the inside, echoing several of Renault's current vehicles, including the Megane E-Tech Electric, where it was first fitted. The infotainment system, which runs on Android Automotive 12, allows wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Customers will be able to order the Coupe SUV with a 9.3-inch head-up display that will reflect pertinent information onto the windshield. A hybrid system combining a turbocharged three-cylinder engine and two electric motors provides power. The 1.2-liter gasoline engine delivers 130 horsepower and 205 newton-meters of torque, while the main e-motor produces 70 horsepower and 205 newton-meters. The secondary e-motor is a starter generator with 34 horsepower and a newton-meter of 50 newton-meter. Renault claims a total output of 200 horsepower to match the e-space. The Rafale will later receive a newly developed plug-in hybrid configuration with 300 horsepower and all-wheel drive by adding an electric motor in the back. It will also have revised rear-wheel steering and model-specific chassis tuning. Before I finish the video, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all of the latest and most exclusive automotive news. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.